there, Tanker Seattle Forge here, and I'm in a Tier 9 game. When's the last time that happened? I don't know. I don't play Tier 9 that often. It's not very fun. Anyway, I'm playing the Object 430, which is relatively new. Well, used to be a Tier 10, and now it's a Tier 9, and I love the Tier 10. I don't love this Tier 9. This is, a, uh, I think, the best game I've had in it, which isn't saying a lot. I don't play it particularly. Did I just drive through that lamppost before without breaking? Anyway, so uh, what about this tank? It's very flat. Uh, it has a punchy gun with high DPM and very poor handling. Uh, I like it. The armor doesn't seem to work at all for me, and I'm trying to make it work, but then I've heard it doesn't work, so then I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, the tier 10, it works really hard. So uh, I would like to get to that, even though I play tier 10 even less than tier 9. So anyway, we're rolling up this hill. A couple things I notice here. I'm with my buddy Golf Dude. He's in the Skoda T50. He's coming up on the hill with me. There's a there's a platoon of T95s on the other team. Oh. All right, so we're coming up here. Walt's already laid down some deeps. I put one into the Progetto, get a 410. Uh, the damage rolls on this thing are all over the map, at least in this game. The Russian number generator really was, at some point, trying to make me lose. Oh, and I take a terrible shot because I hit that thing and it made my gun bounce. And, and also the RNG on the aiming is terrible, but bounce off one, so I put one in for 410 on the Progetto. So we're just going to work this corner, and I don't know how the armor works because it doesn't, and I take some really bad shots at the very sloped edge of a tank, which wasn't going to work anyway, but this Conway is brave. Shooting somebody else, I guess. And I take another late shot, and I think it went in, but no, that's Walt's shot that went in. Mine ricocheted. I thought at the time, I thought, ha-ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha! That went in, but 296, by the way, the absolute minimum roll the average alpha is 390, and I got a 296. The average, the absolute minimum roll is 292. So I was very, 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 very low at the end of the uh, RNG spectrum for that shot. Fuck you, Wargaming. Alright. And you do see a few of these where it really, really... At 327, that's really low too, but not as low as 296, obviously. But nothing near 390. A little tighter grouping to the average number would really be a good idea, I think. All right, 468. We'll get one at the other end of the spectrum. I guess that's fine. All right, Progetto gets one in on me. I angled too much. Too, too much. Getting schooled. Walt's well, already got a kill. All right, so we're going to... Oh, I bounce because I take a shitty shot. I try to snap it. And he puts one in me at 645. I had that coming. He was shooting down at me and everything. All right, we get 419 in the Progetto. And the, this gets uh, fascinating. All right, I'm going to try and project our Progetto. He's one of our best players. I'm not going to be stupid about it, though. Maybe reverse angle. Nope, Conway 66, 73. Oh. All right, Progetto gets one. Uh, uh, two. Uh, uh, uh. Three. Uh, uh, uh. Three round clip. And he gets three kills. Thanks, buddy. Now, this T30, I think, has developmental disabilities. And I don't know if you've been watching the chat. Actually, I'm going to leave the chat unblocked for a change because there was some really, really immature your mama stuff and uh, America first, fuck you America stuff going on in there. North America server is a lively bunch these days. I wonder why. All right, seven six, but they have a pile more hit points than we do. Our Progetto piled up three of our seven kills in one clip, and I just decided to fly by there because the T95s didn't know where the last one is. And then uh, if he's not there, he might be here. So peaky peaky, no. And then file this under X Files. I get spotted there. I'm not sure how. Really not sure how. Alright, I'm going to try and help. We know we have a T95 in here somewhere. And. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 8 to 7. They're still well up on hit points by a tank. Oh, okay, there's the T95. So I was like, I'm just going to wait. And if he drives out here, I'll track him. Right? And I see the Progetto coming around the other side, and I'm like, okay, okay, his gun's pointed at me, that's great for the Progetto. The Progetto can do the work, and then we can get around this guy. So Progetto gets one in, and he kind of turns. So I'm going to run in there, I'm going to try and track, except I suck. And I didn't aim that well, or at all, 
And so I put one on the side, but now the Progetto is on his own. But he's still pointing his gun at me. So I'm just going to dance over here and make him think I might come out. And I can't, I, you know, I didn't think it was going to go on as long as this. And this is what apparently made the T-30 really mad. I got no kills. I'm at 2,600 damage. The Progetto has emptied his clip, right? So he's at the very lowest DPM imaginable. The T-95 is not turning around. The T-30 has come off the hill, and he's going to come help us out. But that is a slow, lumbering tank with a very long aim time. The Progetto's behind. He's safe, but he's behind. He's safe for now, anyway. Ooh, and the T-30's firing HE? Is that for real? All right, so I think maybe I can come up. Maybe I can come up. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, he fired, right? So I'll run out and I'll take a shot at the roof and uh, snapshot it because I wasn't sure if he fired. And uh, anyway, Brigetto puts him away. Nice job, buddy. That was an ex you, you played an excellent game. You know, you're bottom tier tank and 510 matchmaking, and uh, you're in a pretty nice little medium, but there were some very big, nasty tanks there. And I really took the way too long way around. I did see that T95 coming in, and I didn't want to play in his front because I've already done that and not been done anything because I can't take a shot from his gun. I've got 231 hit points that I have to conserve, and we still have five tanks on the enemy team that need taken care of. They're actually up and up on hit points. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, they're still up. And then I realized that I've got artillery behind me. They were actually going back, I don't know, base defense or something like that. So... Progetto has been killed by the Optic 432. The T95 was killed. Our T30 is developmentally disabled. But hopefully he's loaded AP by now. And both artillery have spotted me. I'm coming in here spotted. Can't get a shot out that window. Hopefully this one... Oh yeah, there we go. Alright. Put an end to the 432. And now we can deal with the artillery. And the T30 is coming in. He's steaming in. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting for him to catch up a little bit before I make my push. No need to go in exactly one at a time. And I come around and they're lined up, but I get smashed for 201. So I've only got 30 hit points left, and then I get a low roll against the Lorraine, which does not put him away. I don't know if he can. he's going to be shooting it out soon. Uh, and I just pray he doesn't. Does he give it up on life? Anyway, I put a second shot on him for only 18. All right, so I'm gonna, ah, the T30 rams me for 8 hit points. I've only got 22 left. I'm going to try and head off the M40. The T30 is going in the backside, and apparently he was mad about that because if I hadn't gotten in his way, he would have killed the artillery and gotten the kill that he deserved. And so I wait here for the duck hunt. Ah, ba boom Whew. That was a lot. All right. I know 3800 isn't a lot in a tier 9 medium, especially a Soviet medium, but it was a lot for me because it's my first second class badge, and I also got a Pascucci. I got a Pascucci. And I did hit 14 of my 16 shots. Not all of them pinned. But, uh, you know, I did my bit. We won. Fuck off. But it turns out my damage is tops on damage for both teams. Sorry, T30. 3800 to 3340. But the tank I was most impressed with the play was uh, uh, C7 Angela in the Progetto 46 with uh, 2900 damage and five kills. Three of them on that one clip that was just so needed. And, of course, Walt put in his business with 2,000 damage in his Skoda T50 before he was RNG'd out of existence. The only thing I can say on this screen is it made a profit. Anyway, uh, it was an exciting game for me. I was really pleased to come out of it. And then the last thing I guess I want to say is that, uh, you know, the T30 actually verbally assaulted uh, in Messenger after the game. Uh, my clanmate and myself... Apparently, he thought we were the dumbest people. We sacrificed our entire team and that we didn't. We were selfish with our damage and that we're both cocksuckers. But he doesn't know that the town I'm from, cocksucker is used as a term of endearment. I do remember a friend of mine got into grad school and his dad, who didn't have a formal education whatsoever, said, I'm so proud of that little cocksucker. And that was typical. Anyway, have a great day.